Andrew Fury gambled and won. Preliminary results show Fury's Liberal Party of Newfoundland and Labrador winning 22 of 40 seats in the province, boosting the Liberals from a minority government into a majority. It's an honour and privilege to stand before you as our province's 14th Premier. To continue as Premier is to stand as a fighter in a proud legacy of fighters for Newfoundland and Labrador. Both of Fury's rivals lost their seats. PC leader Chess Crosby and NDP leader Allison Coffin both sidelined. Since the pandemic started, Fury is the fourth incumbent Premier to call an election and increase his party's number of seats. It wasn't easy. After a COVID-19 outbreak in the final week of the campaign, staff at polling stations refused to work. Elections planners switched to mail-in voting, but a string of problems followed. Elections NL admitted to allowing some people to vote by telephone, which violated the Elections Act. Some voters said they received too many voting kits. Others got no ballot, leading to extremely low turnout in some parts of Labrador. I never had any, any uh, way to put my two cents, two cents worth in. I never had a chance to vote. And then there's a lot of them non, uh, not translated for the older folks. So uh, I don't know what the percentage up here of the voters are going to be, but I'd say it's going to be really, really low. To some, stormy weather on this makeshift election day is appropriate because the results are unstable. Now it's possible he's stuck with, with uh, some uncertainty with this election. Even if, they, even if they have the most seats, it doesn't necessarily mean that they will govern as a majority for a long period with these results. Especially if the election is challenged in court. But Fury insists he's not worried. So you consider it a fair election and no question at all about the validity and the mandate that you have? No. The controversy threatens to overshadow a bleak reality. Newfoundland and Labrador is broke. A longtime orthopedic surgeon, Fury hints fixing the province's tattered finances will take tough medicine and bold thinking. With lingering questions about how he won, it's unclear whether people are ready to move forward. Ross Lord, Global News, Halifax.